This will be our Neverland. Welcome to the Red Booth. We have the band Rival Tides here visiting, and um, we'd like to introduce you to all of the members here. Uh, why don't we start from this side? Will you say hello? My name is Jason, and I play bass. My name is Alex, I play guitar. My name is Robin, and I play vocals. I'm Caleb, I play guitar. I'm Greg, and I play drums. You guys are on tour, right? Like, or you, you are going to be very soon. Like, What's the deal with that right now? We do tour, we do West Coast tours, we tour to Texas to go to South by Southwest and stuff like that. Nice. So we're gearing up for some more West Coast going up and down and then going inland into Arizona. Okay. Did you guys have like a record label that like helps you with all this or you just nope. totally... This is all us. Independent. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So you guys book all of your like gigs and everything? Everything. We do everything, man. Yeah. What's just really cool about this band is that um, everybody is like really good at something individually like we're all good at a lot of things but um as far as the band no i mean like <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to make it sound like you're only good at this you suck at everything else but caleb's like awesome with like you know band relations and setting up shows and trying to you know get get tours and shows going cool. and, so you're and, kind of the pr for the band kind no of. actually greg is no, like no. he's like the pr guy oh really i'm just the eye candy he's like he's like he's like <laughs> caleb's like our booking agent at this point I'm getting older <laughs> Cool. <laughs> and uh, Greg's really good at like online presence and just really like with the PR side of it. Nice. Do um, so you like well do all the Alex. blogging and all that stuff? Yeah. That's do cool. All the writing related things and yeah. That's <laughs> awesome yeah. though. I mean, that's really impressive. You guys have like got a whole tour going on and everything with you know, and you don't have a record label. Yeah. It kind of seems like like record labels are not really desirable. Almost like at this point, like so many people are able to like do stuff on their own and like. Well, that. That's definitely part of it. Um, I don't know. It's just since the, everything's gone digital now, mm -hmm. and you can release stuff on your own, and technology, smaller studios are putting out, you know, yeah. a really good sounding product nowadays. It kind of you don't rely on that huge bankroll, you know. Yeah. But although it still, it still helps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lot, I'm, I'm sure know? it would be nice to get like a deal where they, you know, give you a bunch of money up front so you can just work on your books, your albums and stuff. You know, that's the biggest yeah. thing. I think when you first want to start a band, you think you're thinking like the mentality of like the you know '70s or something, where like you play a club and some guy shows up and he's like, "You guys are amazing, sign here," and you're yeah. like, "Money's just pouring in." Yeah. Like everybody has that like rock star idea, yeah, but once you actually, like that. no, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when you start actually becoming a band. <laughs> You just start doing. You just realize you just you're gonna do it no matter what because you love doing it and yeah. and you're just hoping maybe there's a label comes across like you said just to help yeah. like just get yeah. us on tour. We can quit our day jobs and yeah. actually just is. do this. They have yeah. a backing. Hey, what's what's yeah. the name? Oh, yeah. this blah bam. It's also yeah. the way you have to do it these days. You can't rely on just getting a record deal with yeah. social media. The ability to get your music out there is so accessible to any band. Yeah. Um. Really, what you're looking for with a label is to take you to that next level. If you're not yeah. doing it already, you're not already setting up shows and booking and and merch and your whole package there you know you're not ready for a label yet well um i would like to know a little bit more about you guys as musicians and um like how long have you guys each been like doing music like how did you become like i'm a musician now <laughs> 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 you might take a long he's all checking his clock like but just tell like a little like, bit about it if you want well i've been out of the womb no, I've, been, <laughs> since the womb. <laughs> I've been playing guitar for i think it's been about 16 years now Wow. So, um, I mean, when I first got it, got started, I was going to like this um, conservatory for like classical music and learning how to like read music and do all those things. And I just couldn't commit to it really. Mm -hmm. 
and I, I had an acoustic guitar, and I never played the thing. And I was going to these lessons, and nothing was ever happening. And then my parents... It was all theory, like just, you know... A, a lot of it was just uh-huh. theory, and, you know, learn the waltz in G minor, and the proper way to hold the guitar. <laughs> and Jeez. I just... I don't know. It was not something I was committing to, although I, do, I, I still had that... For some reason, guitar is something I've just always been playing. I don't know why. But, um... And then Ooh, I got yeah. a... <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a I got a Fender uh, Fender Strat f- um, for uh, Christmas, and then I was basically played guitar almost an hour a day since then. Wow, so it was just, that's amazing! It was just that thing, and just I don't know. It was a Christmas miracle. It was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it was. It took me a while, and then it was just you know playing in bands for years and getting the idea of like what's happening, <laughs> like how do I fit into this, you know? Yeah. So. Cool. And what about you? <laughs> I've probably been since 1902. Um, no, I've probably been playing about the same. Actually, well, we fi- we went to school together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we probably started around the same time, 15, 16 years. Cool. And um, I pretty much did the same thing, except I did about three hours a day. There you, Whoa. Go. Ah, there you go. But I did it differently. Whoa. I would play. I would put my favorite, you know, albums on and my favorite bands, and I would learn the songs, and then I'd play with it. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I grew up loving drums because my dad's a drummer, um, and then I loved guitar. I played that for years. Wrote, started singing, and then. This band needed a bass player, and I was like, "Fine, I'll do it." <laughs> so now I play bass. That's awesome. So you were you weren't really like like how long were you playing bass before? Like before, how did they like get you Two into days. the band? I yeah, I never played. I mean, I played. I picked up a bass before and be like, "Oh yeah, cool," but I was never a bass player. I became one because of these yeah. guys. Wow. Yeah. We're encouraging you to expand. So yeah. I yes. wanted to expand. Absolutely. I was like, well, I played everything else besides the bass. I'll try. But, but he does contribute a lot to the writing process. Like, he'll get on the guitar and he'll bring something to the band, you know, yeah. guitar wise. So it's, it's not like it's you're not like stuck only, only doing bass. Like, he yeah. still has a lot to do with that. And, you know, hopefully in the future, you know, we can do some fun stuff on stage and he throws on a guitar or something. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So it's like you didn't even you really weren't auditioning for that. They were just like, Jason, you need to do this kind of. Yeah, they they needed help. Mm-hmm. They were like, dude, we we have this show coming up. We, you know, just help us out real quick. Right. And at first I was like, oh, whatever, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. they asked me again. He called me up again. And he never left. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was <laughs> like, come on, just fill in real quick. You'll be the sub, right? So then that was I, his nickname. That was, nickname. <laughs> that was my nickname. The was the sub. You even, had, you even yeah. actually had an interview where he called himself. He's like, hi, I'm Jason the sub. Like, <laughs> yeah, I did. That's yeah. that is true. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So I, I was the sub for quite some time, and then slowly but surely it faded away to where I'm like, all right. I'm no longer the same. It's sun. official. Yeah. It's official. So. It's so interesting though to me because like the way that bands get like come together, it's like it's quite a story. Like in many ways, like how yeah. did you guys end up being? This is the people. Like this is the one that jammed together. You know. Funny enough, I don't think we actually became an actual band when until these guys showed up. We were actually felt like okay, now we have something. You know. Yeah. Like we always had fun. We always did you know our best, but it was it, just, it still felt like we were trying to still learn. We we're trying to just something that's missing. And then when this all came together, which is probably, you know, a bigger reason why we did transition to a new name and everything, we felt like we've really came into who we are as a band. Mm-hmm. That's so. so cool. Yeah. It must make you guys really happy. Yeah. It's, I mean, most bands don't last as long as we have, so it's pretty cool that, like, we kept going for it until we found that thing. And yeah. now that we found it, I want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so how long has this band been around officially? Well, the course started with uh, Caleb and Robin back in 2006. It basically started with us, and then we found um, a, uh, a bass player and a drummer, and then we played, and there was just a lot of, it was just a big development curve at that point in time. So the, those years we spent together playing shows, and you know, we That's had this, time. we had this uh, studio in downtown LA that had no air conditioning, and it was like right above us was the roof. Hmm. So in the summer, it'd be a good 100 and 10, 15 in there, and oh that's not God. a joke. And I think um, just the fact we stayed in there and kept writing and kept doing what we were doing and just, well, like, we're basically playing in our underwear because we're dying from heat stroke, you know? <laughs> I know what it's like to be naked. I do, do like that. That is true. No, and, and as I said, we just kept progressing and progressing, and then uh, our bass player left and our drummer left, you oh. know? 
and they, they went their separate ways and um, we were just in this weird limbo and uh, we got you know we got him on board and then I found Greg on MySpace. MySpace. Really? MySpace. Was there on MySpace? Uh, it was on MySpace. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. The classified section, which I think shut down like a month after Pretty that. Pretty much. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. It, was just yeah. Like, it wasn't around any longer. It was meant to be. Wow. wow. It was yeah. meant to be. That's awesome. Yeah. I forgot about that. And then we came in and uh, auditioned Greg. And uh, I remember we set everything up, and he knew all the songs better than we did because we hadn't practiced in like three, four yeah. months. And I was like, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> and the rest is pretty much where we end up now, you know? Cool. So. And what about you? You are the singer, you are the main sort of. He, he, is, he is the band. I, yeah, it's all me. It's I hired everybody on. Actually. Yeah. I think I made a joke chat. about it in an old uh, in an old interview about how like I found them on a penny saver. <laughs> penny <laughs> saver. <I've hired> <laughs> and I've had these songs since the womb. <laughs> this whole all our albums that are gonna transpire in the future have all been already written. Oh, yeah, your whole concept. Thing yeah. is like a ten album. Ten album <laughs> concept. It's not gonna stop till I die. No. Uh, well, like Alex was saying. Uh, how did you meet? Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say, uh, when yeah. we basically first started because I, um, I owned, uh, it was out of college, and I always did Which music. Which college? Uh, CSUN. Oh, cool. Um, That's close to here. Yeah. Awesome. I'm from like a small town, so I actually didn't move out to LA until 2000. And so before that, I didn't have any opportunities to really start up a band because in my hometown, nobody was in bands. I mean, everybody listened to, you know, rap and stuff. So it was like kind of like a closet rockaholic. I could just be like, Listening to my Blink One Two in the corner, <laughs> uh, no, but I always wanted, and I was just saying, I always wrote, I wrote songs my whole life. Um, always just kind of like, a, like I said, like a closet performer. Like I always wanted to, to do that. And then I went to college, and then one night I was at a party, and they had a, a karaoke machine, and I jumped on it and sang some songs. And somebody was like, "You can sing. You want to join my band?" And so I was like, "Yes, thank you. Like I can join a band. This is awesome. I always wanted to do that." And so that happened and fizzled off. And but I then I always had that craving. And so this then, was when you were at CSUN that happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like we we played like three shows, and then literally like right when we were about to play, there's there's a band called uh, Slick Shoes. They're like a, a, a I guess pop punk band. Yeah. I'd say, and um, they were they're pretty big, and we were actually asked to open up for them. This was like our third show. And the guitarist who started the whole band that asked me to join was like, I'm quitting. I don't know if he got scared or something. He decided to quit the band. So I was like, I was so That's excited so to join this band for the first time in my life. And it ended up dying. So um, I just went back to like kind of just making songs on my own, like on GarageBand on my computer. And this guy shows up one day because I had a condo. And he came over to actually I was selling a condo. And he shows up, uh, a mutual friend. He's like, oh, my, you know, my friend, he's looking to buy. And, and so he comes over to the house, and I met him. And we just became friends, and he's really? a musician. And... I never knew. <laughs> That's, That's so crazy. What? I'm like, yes. Yeah, this is how it happened. <laughs> and so, uh, we, wow. you know, we exchanged, like, information. And I'm like, yeah, we should hang out. We should try something. And then uh, we try to start this band uh, with, like, two other members. So he was going to, like, buy your condo maybe or something? Yeah, he was going to, he was looking to buy uh, a condo. Um, in uh, Cannon Country is where I had a nice. condo out there, and uh, wow. and he uh, and we just changed numbers, and then all of a sudden, like we had like the mutual friend that introduced us. He was a drummer, and so we would try to start up a band, and that fizzled, and and then it was kind of like another bummer, like man. And then out of nowhere, he calls me up one day, and he's like, "Hey, Robin, I'm you know my friend Alex, who they were in a band before I met him." Okay. He's like, we're, we want to start a band again. You we guys be were in a band before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He's like, we, we're starting a band. We're going to be serious about this. And we, you know, we want you to audition. They didn't give me the job. They're like, we want you to audition. So I had to come in and sing. And then. We want to see if you're good. And he was terrible. That was absolutely bad. <laughs> he was yeah. really uh, bad. Like, it, he came in and he was hungover. I was, he yeah, I was, he was really just Are you like, serious? For real? Like, if you had, like, two opposites, you had Robin over here, and then you had Greg on the other side, who came in and was just amazing, <laughs> and then we had Robin, and it was... The worst thing. I was just like, what? Yeah, what happened? Hey, guys. So, I don't somehow you had both of us in the band. Which, by the way, I'm just learning this, too. You never told me that, but yes, I agree. I'm sure it was absolutely horrible. Well, I really would like to hear also your story as well, and, like... Um, yeah, I started playing guitar when I was, like, 16. I was kind of a late bloomer with guitar. Um... My dad was a drummer. I grew up playing drums terribly, and 
<laughs> Thank God I stopped that one. It was pretty rough. Um, I, I bought my first guitar, and I actually called up Alex. He was a good friend of my brother's, and he came over and showed me my first chords, and I forgot them immediately. And then um, pretty much just hung by so him. So you guys knew each other since you were, like, little kids? Yeah, like 15, 16, so, maybe like 14. Like, yeah, okay. we were pretty young. And uh, Yeah, I think you were, you were either 13 or 14 the first time I met you, and I was... Alex, for <laughs> Alex is kind of like the girlfriend in our relationship. He remembers... <laughs> Every day, <laughs> it's like day. June 2005, the fifth. <laughs> you gave me flowers, <laughs> but we pretty much just became best friends. We hung out all the time. We'd go and get in trouble together, and he taught me a lot. And I pretty much wrote his coattails for a long time, learning how to play guitar. That's awesome. We went through the same terrible phases of the music that we liked, and um, you know, started some bands that didn't really work out. And then one day uh, I was, you know, quit the band that, not quit, but it kind of fizzled the band that me and him were in. Mm -hmm. And I took some time just to myself to figure out what I was doing, spent some practice time and then called up Alex, was like, let's do something serious. And he showed up and he was late and I just got in his face. I was like, if you want to be in this band, dude, you got to be on time. And he was like, okay. And he's been on time more than probably anyone else in the band since then. Um, we practiced for a while in my apartment just getting some songs down and recruited Al or Robin. And I would never forget the, one of the funniest moments with these two is actually when he wasn't in the band we were starting the band before he was in. And uh, we were playing acoustic. We were trying to make a song. He was like playing some acoustic songs, like singing some lyrics. And he came over to fix his like, computer or oh, something. Oh, really? And he comes over and I was like, oh, this is Alex. He was in a, old, a band before. And, yeah. he, and he's like sitting there fixing the computer and we're hearing we were making music. And I could just, I remember just seeing Alex like he's... He's like, huh? <laughs> like he, like he just he lo like he's longing. That. He's like, I want to make music with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like he's like, man, I want to be a band again. Did he like walk out like all like like that? Or no, I could just tell that he was like. He, you could tell he was just like, man, I miss that. You know? Yeah. So. And how about you? I've been playing drums for fifteen or sixteen years now. Um, didn't know any of these guys until this band, but I've been playing in various bands from high school on you know through college and everything like that mm -hmm. and uh was uh left my last band before this and wasn't really sure what i wanted to do and alex and i ended up connecting uh like we said on, on myspace classifieds of all so awesome. <laughs> unexpected MySpace things classifieds? yeah <laughs> that was a thing it like, 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 a and, like unused by most people <laughs> but we happened to I actually remember well. that i did use it i think i used it yeah uh, <laughs> Misconnections, mis and, <laughs> and I saw how professional they were as far as like already making things happen with releasing music on their own and planning out shows and tours even and things like that. And I was like, yeah. this is a band that, this is what I've been looking for. I'd always worked with people who, some of us would be like professional and like on it, and then the other half would be kind of like, oh, I don't want to practice this week. And it's like, come on. Yeah. So this like, was how like, how serious are you? Yeah. And so these guys were very, you could tell right away, like they wanted it. And so I was like, that's what I've been looking for. Yeah. And learned the songs, tried out with them, and then just yeah. went from there and then just started working with them. Like, this guy is it. like a human <laughs> metronome. Like the guy's just like, yeah. so it's pretty crazy to, to, to like that's practice true. and go, wow, this, you know, it's, 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 it's weird when you don't realize it, yeah. like when th how how big it affects. Yeah. You know, it's like the heartbeat of Everyone a band. Everyone follows the yeah. the drum. Oh, so I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, a lot of people like drink before shows because of stage fright, right? Yeah. So like, like so you guys just were like, we're not gonna do that. Like, is that why you would drink before? Sh did you drink before shows because of that? Or? We, well, we actually never did. Yeah, that yeah, was one of the pretty really? firm policy, and there was no drinking before during practices <clears throat> or shows because we wanted to be the band that was gonna make it. And we've seen so many bands that get into being rock stars and drinking and doing all that stuff right before they go on and play and it affects their performance. So we wanted to step on stage as professionals even from the beginning when we were pretty rough. That's and, awesome. You know, you, those fears you have going on stage, you gotta conquer those. Playing those shows, you're like, dude, I really hope I don't mess up. This is an awesome, exciting, it's a rad show. Those are the fun ones, at least for me anyways. I'm the one that came from a band who thought we were cool. <laughs> and would always drink before shows and one time we drank way too much and it was the worst show I have ever experienced in my life. Oh my god, what, what happened? Uh, it, I mean, it was basically everybody was just sloppy, the singer was a key above 
than what we were supposed to be <laughs> oh, in. Oh, no. So it's like, duh. He was like, duh. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was us, Jason. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. That's one. every show. <laughs> I always give a key above. No. Yeah, well, because everyone thinks of musicians. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Like, party, you know, party yeah, all the yeah. time. And, you know, you're artists. You know, you're trying to do your art. And yeah. whatever helps that, then that's well, really. And there really nice. are some people out there, I mean, especially, like, in the old days. Um, that just could get wasted and just be amazing still. Hendrix. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think a lot of people... They use him as an example, right? They They're look, like, they oh, look so at, if you could do it, then Well, they look, at, yeah, that, exactly. they look at that yeah. person and they the go, oh, that's what a rock star is, and so right. everybody thinks that's what they need to do to be a rock star. It's like, yeah. it's like it's more... And now, in that... When that happens, it's like they're they're using more of the image than actually trying to be good musicians and put on a good show. It's like, yeah, you know what I mean. We're not we're yeah. not going on stage just so people go, oh my god, it was crazy. Like Robin was like puking and drunk and didn't sing and it was awesome. Like we don't want that. They That's threw not beer our time. Bottles at each other. Yeah, I mean, if we were like a punk band, that'd be great. But you know, yeah. we're not that style. Like, yeah, you know, I, yeah. I think it's tough because musicians rock stars they're supposed to be that dream that everybody like looks at goes oh i wish i could do that and right. not have to work my job and then go Drink out and all play the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the reality is it's not like that you sit in a van and it's hot and uncomfortable but <laughs> you know we want to be no pants on. yeah with no pants on. <laughs> we want to be role models to people too like mm -hmm. our songs we don't sing any songs that are negative they're negative but they're talking about something positive we want to be able to reach out to kids that maybe are having tough times and show them that you can be musicians or you can get through problems in your life and you don't have to resort to drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. We, well, not all of us, Greg doesn't drink, you know, we don't have a problem with drinking in moderation and right. responsibly, but none of us do drugs and yeah. you know, we're pretty against it as That's, far as that goes. That is like really, really impressive. I, I highly commend you guys for doing that. Like yeah, seriously, thank you. I'm just so happy to have you guys. We're gonna here. get it's really so hard wasted. Those after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the we're shot? We're gonna get so wasted after this interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, so what is what is your new um, album going to be called? Your new EP, I should say. Uh, we we do not have a title yet. We are hard at work at that. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the the new song is called Mind Somnia, and that's the new release. Very cool. And uh, I'm I will say that the music video is pretty awesome. It's epic. Cool. Has a story to it. Have you guys shot it already and stuff, or is it like? Yeah. Is, so it's it's. it's yeah, it's done. It's I directed and edited, so I'm, I'm almost done. It's pretty much done editing. It's just wow. a couple little things. No, no, he did everything. And started Are it. you serious? Every. I didn't start it. Oh, well, actually, well, we all did. You weren't that kid in the... No. 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 <laughs> no. I mean, we have a performance, obviously, within the song, but there's, like, a story. So you're directing on. them as well and, and doing... And music. editing? Yeah, yeah, they recorded yeah. it. That's, that's what I do. Cool. That's what I do on the like side. The actors, awesome. actresses. Besides the bartending day job, I, I direct um, and edit. We yeah, pretty much do everything in, <laughs> as far as the band goes. We do everything in house, and we pay for everything. We own all the every, rights. We own everything, you know. That's fantastic. So that's, that's one of the things because, like, we are kind of our own mini label right now that just doesn't have any money. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> well, but you know, you guys are doing the right stuff, man. I mean, I know you will be because you'll just keep putting it out there. I've seen some of your music videos, and they're very impressive. Oh, you know, thank and you. Cool. thank you so much for watching the band Rival Tides on The Red Booth. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> the bag! Yeah. Martini Bust shot, out. baby! Yeah. Bust oh. out the shower. <laughs> 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 is this your first show? This is my first show. We are blessed. We are I am blessing so excited awesome. to have you guys as my first show. Should we sign something? Show. I feel we like we should. should sign something. Yeah, that would be awesome. Wall. So where is Neverland? My mom says it's the second star to the right. And straight on till morning. This will be our Neverland. Trying to find some
right here, right now As kids it was easier We were more concerned about Chasing ghosts around the neighbor's house Let's get them out If you ever get lost, come back here, find me. You have to pay the like you know the really big stations that everybody listens to, mm-hmm. and then on the outskirts of LA, like Palmdale, even uh, Lancaster and stuff like that, uh-huh. there's little radio stations that will pick up your yeah. song and they yeah. they just want to support local artists. She's the type to hold it down. She holds the crown when I'm out of town. It's been seven years and you still here, and I won't go because you stood here. Never said I'm perfect, girl. I just said that I was worth it, girl.